Next year's Samsung Galaxy lineup might have leaked, and the Galaxy Note might still be alive. Hi, welcome to Z Gadget Review. There has been a huge leak on upcoming Samsung phone devices, and I'm talking about the Samsung Galaxy line in particular. We have a huge leak from on leaks, which has a reliable track record when it comes to leaks. Usually their leaks are pretty accurate. This time is for the S22 lineup. So the flagship lineup of Samsung phones that we get every year. Next year, it's not going to be any different. We will have a refresh line of Galaxy phones at the beginning of the year, most likely. The leaks do show some big differences between last year's phones and the upcoming lineup and other subtle tweaks on the phones. Let's start with the Galaxy S22, the entry level model. As you can see here, they have it in white and it doesn't look that much different from last year's phone. But if you actually look at the image, the camera bump there in the back is a little smaller than this year's camera bump. So it doesn't look like it's going to protrude as much as it did this year. It also looks like they're trying to hide it a little better than they have done before without adding crazy colors to the frame. My assumption is that that's how they're gonna go forward with the lineup uh, because this is a white phone and as you can see, it's kind of like what, silver color? If they're using silver, it's not only to match the borders of the phone, but also so it doesn't show off as much. And it looks like that Galaxy S22 is going to shrink a bit compared to last year. So it looks like it's going to lose a few millimeters from its size. And I think they're doing that in order to compete with the iPhone mini that is of course, Apple's smallest phone uh, within the iPhone lineup. It both makes sense because Samsung likes to go head to head with Apple on a lot of things. That's kind of how Samsung became, I guess, the Apple of Android phones. And so to have a direct competitor to the iPhone mini for people that are interested on smaller form factor, it will make sense to use the entry level um, phone in the lineup to achieve this. Now, within the rumors, we also have an idea of what we're going to get inside the phone, which I think is also kind of predictable because this is something that Samsung does every year that they upgrade their devices. So inside, we should be seeing a Qualcomm Snapdragon A98, which is going to be, of course, the newer um, Snapdragon chip available for international markers will most likely see the upcoming Exynos 2200, which of course is going to be the upgrade to last year's Exynos chip. And next we have that Samsung Galaxy S22 Plus, which is rumor that it's actually going to change the name to Samsung Galaxy S22 Pro to, I guess, give it more of a flagship name instead of just having the Plus. Arguably, when it comes to branding, Pro sounds better than Plus. It actually makes people probably want to purchase a device that has the Pro name attached to it and just a Plus sign or the Plus name to it because it just sounds like you're adding something else to that. This obviously will be the middle of the line phone when it comes to the lineup. As you can see on the images, uh, this one is going to be black or I guess uh, dark gray. And you can see the camera bump there as well. We have it, it looks like it's going to be all glass if these mockups are to be believed with a punch hole camera. Notice in these images how little of a bezel there is between the phone and the screen. As you can see, they have made the bezels very, very thin in order to give it a almost look like there's that is a bezel-less phone. The big thing is that they're not doing that by curving the screen on the sides, which is something that a lot of people hate the Samsung does. So it's nice to see that they're continuing to step away from that and also making the phone in a way that looks like it has no bezels at all. You still have that punch hole camera there. I'm wondering if they're actually going to make it um, an under display camera and these renders are not showing it, which I think will be a little bit of a mistake because the Galaxy Z Fold 3 has an under display camera and people haven't really said great things about that camera. It's not performing very well um, on tests and things like that. 
So unless they actually make it better than what's already on the foldable device, I think it will be a mistake of, for them to do that. So I think just keeping the punch hole clear there until the technology gets to the point where you actually have a good image, as some other uh, competitors are doing, is the smart thing is to just leave it as is. Now, we don't really have any information on the rumors about what's under the hood on this device, but my assumption is it's going to be the same as the Galaxy S22. You're most likely going to get the Snapdragon uh, 798 and Exynos 2200. Maybe if um, if a Snapdragon has a plus one, they might add the plus one here. But if not, if they do have that, like the 788 plus, like they did with the 788, then that might actually go to the Ultra. I guess we'll see what kind of chip it chips with. <laughs> chip. It ships with. Huh. So yeah, but that's your first look at the Galaxy S22 plus soon to be Galaxy S22 Pro. And now we're gonna go to the Samsung Galaxy 22 Ultra, which actually seems like it's going to make the biggest change out of all the devices. And the reason is because of the way that the camera bump is going to be in this device. And again, remember, this is a rumor. So it could be that this is what the phone is going to look like, or it could also look just like the other phones that we have before with the three camera array in the back, the long way like every single phone has. But it would be smart of Samsung to give the Ultra a little bit of a different look in order to differentiate it from the other two devices and to say, hey, look at what this phone looks like. It looks different. And the reason why it looks different is because it's the top of the line when it comes to the Galaxy S22 lineup. So as you can see here, it looks like you're going to have a three camera array as we have seen before, but to the right hand side, you're going to have what it looks like the flash, a one of those uh, laser sensors, like the laser ones that can uh, gauge the depth and stuff, and another camera module below that. On the front of the device, we also have the uh, punch hole camera. And actually, if you look at the device here, it looks like it's more square than rounded, like the previous two devices that we just took a look at. So if this is the form factor that the phone is going to have, it's going to look very different from the other two to give it that bump in price, look, and desirability. The device is going to measure 6.8 inches with, again, very, very thin bezels. If you also notice, the edges are a little bit curved, which kind of give you that look of the Galaxy Note that supposedly is dead now, but without actually giving you the curved screen that so many people, again, dislike because of... Uh, presses on the screen that they don't mean to make a lot of times. And the reason why the Galaxy S22 Ultra kind of looks like a Galaxy Note is because according to this image, if you see there at the bottom, there is a little hole where the pen will go, just like the Note, which is why I said that the Galaxy Note might actually not be dead. Here's another image of the device. If you see there on the what left-hand side, you have the little round button where it's where you will press to eject the stylus. So let's get back to that weird camera bump. Just to get an idea of what we're supposed to get on that on that camera, it's going to supposed to be a 108 megapixel main camera with a 12 megapixel sensor for an ultra wide telephoto and periscope cameras. Each of these cameras is supposedly going to support optical image stabilization and is going to supposedly also support a 40 megapixel front facing camera. So this device is going to go after the people who want to take pictures and video using a Samsung device within Android. In terms of specs, we have a little more information when it comes to the Galaxy S22 Ultra. It is expected to, again, support Snapdragon 898, Exynos 2200, and a 5,000 milliamp hour battery. Again, these are all rumors. Another rumor that got started this morning, I'm shooting this on Saturday, September 25th, is that the name of the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra is actually going to be changing to the Galaxy Note 22. 
Ultra, which I don't believe that is actually going to happen because as we saw, uh, what, like two weeks ago, I think it was, I did a video where there was a patent claim by Samsung where they had not renewed the patent for the Note line of devices, leading to the belief that the Note lineup is actually dead. And for that video, you can go here or the description section. So if they haven't renewed that, that, that not the patent, the trademark for the uh, Galaxy Note lineup, it would be weird that they will add the Note word to the name of the device. It would make more sense to, again, give that big difference to the Galaxy S22 Ultra by just adding the pin in it and saying, hey, if you want to use an, an S Pen, if you want to have the Note experience, the only way you can have it is by going to that top of the line device that we're going to be offering. In this case, the Galaxy S22 Ultra, which not only will have crazy cameras, but it will also support S Pen. And that way you can charge more, a lot more than you would otherwise charge for this Galaxy Ultra device because it also is adding that S Pen support that people are missing, that people are looking for. And then you get both consumers. You get the people that are looking for a Note device and people who are looking for a top of the line device. That's at least the way that I think they're going to do it. I don't think they're going to add the Note word in it because it just wouldn't make sense. They they have killed the note line. So to just add the note name to it, to just bring it back. And I think it will create more confusion than anything else because also people who will be looking for the top of the line S22 device, in this case, the Ultra, will be confused because they'll be looking for the Ultra that they're used to seeing within Samsung's lineup. So, you know, you don't want to create confusion in the market when it comes to your devices, you want to make it as easy as possible for the consumer. And the easiest way to do that is to say Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra, top of the line device, also supports S Pen, just like the Note used to do. I personally like the way that S22 Ultra looks. It's a different camera bump from before. I still don't like that they're sticking to that protruding camera thing. And I understand the reason they do it is because the cameras have so much that there's, you know, no, there's no room in the housing of the actual device to include everything that the camera needs. So I understand why they're doing it, but I think, I don't know, I think the design could be done better than it's been done. For one part, I like the design of the S22 Ultra. I don't like the design of the other two devices because they still have that weird bump in the back. But I think... You know, maybe it's about time to get used to those bumps because the Pixel 6 technically is going to have a bump because of the camera, except Google has figured out a way to make it more seamless, if you want to call it, within the design of what the phone looks like. It just looks like part of the design instead of something that's just attached to the phone, like Microsoft is doing, Apple is doing, Samsung is doing, and a number of other phone manufacturers. What do you think about these rumors? Do you think they are credible rumors? Do you think that these are the devices that we're going to see debuting at the beginning of next year? If you are a Galaxy device owner, are do these devices excite you? Are you like, eh, I don't really care. Are you excited about that? Return of the Samsung Galaxy Note. Let me know in the comment section. That's it for me. Go ahead and subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. It really helps the channel. Go ahead and hit that bell so you can be alerted every time we have new videos. And thank you very much for watching.